Media of the United States consist of several different types of media, television, radio, cinema, newspapers, magazines, and Internet-based websites. The U.S. also has a strong music industry. Many of the media are controlled by large for-profit corporations who reap revenue from advertising, subscriptions, and sale of copyrighted material. American media conglomerates tend to be leading global players, generating large revenues as well as large opposition in many parts of the world. With the passage of the Telecommunications Act of 1996, further deregulation and convergence are underway, leading to mega-mergers, further concentration of media ownership, and the emergence of multinational media conglomerates. These mergers enable tighter control of information. Currently, five corporations control roughly 90% of the media. Critics allege that localism, local news and other content at the community level, media spending and coverage of news, and diversity of ownership and views have suffered as a result of these processes of media concentration. Theories to explain the success of such companies include reliance on certain policies of the American federal government or a tendency to natural monopolies in the industry. See Media Bias in the United States. The organization Reporters Without Borders compiles and publishes an annual ranking of countries based upon the organization's assessment of their press freedom records. In 2013-14 United States was ranked 46th out of 180 countries, a drop of 13 points from the preceding year. Newspapers <inaudible> 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 Newspapers have declined in their influence and penetration into American households over the years. The U.S. does not have a national paper. The New York Times, The Wall Street Journal, and USA Today are the most circulated newspapers in the United States and are sold in most U.S. cities. Although the Times' primary audience has always been the people of New York City, the New York Times has gradually become the dominant national newspaper of record. Apart from its daily nationwide distribution, the term means that back issues are archived on microfilm by every decent-sized public library in the nation, and the Times articles are often cited by both historians and judges as evidence that a major historical event occurred on a certain date. The Los Angeles Times and the Wall Street Journal are also newspapers of record to a lesser extent. Although USA Today has tried to establish itself as a national paper, it has been widely derided by the academic world as the McPaper, and is not subscribed to let alone archived by most libraries. Apart from the newspapers just mentioned, all major metropolitan areas have their own local newspapers. Typically, a metropolitan area will support at most one or two major newspapers, with many smaller publications targeted towards particular audiences. Although the cost of publishing has increased over the years, the price of newspapers has generally remained low, forcing newspapers to rely more on advertising revenue and on articles provided by a major news agency wire service, such as the Associated Press, Reuters or Bloomberg News for their national and world coverage. With very few exceptions, all the newspapers in the U.S. are privately owned, either by large chains such as Gannett or McClatchy, which own dozens or even hundreds of newspapers, by small chains that own a handful of papers, or in a situation that is increasingly rare, by individuals or families. Most general-purpose newspapers are either being printed one time a week, usually on Thursday or Friday, or are printed daily. Weekly newspapers tend to have much smaller circulation and are more prevalent in rural communities or small towns. Major cities often have alternative weeklies to complement the mainstream daily papers, for example, New York City's Village Voice or Los Angeles' LA. Weekly, to name two of the best known. Major cities may also support a local business journal, trade papers relating to local industries, and papers for local ethnic and social groups. Probably due to competition from other media, the number of daily newspapers in the U.S. has declined over the past half century, according to editor and publisher, the Trade Journal of American Newspapers. In particular, the number of evening newspapers has fallen by almost one half since 1970, while the number of morning editions and Sunday editions has grown. For comparison, in 1950, there were 1,772 daily papers and 1,450 or about 70% of them were evening papers while in 2000, there were 1,480 daily papers and 766, or about half, of them were evening papers. Daily newspaper circulation is also slowly declining in America, partly due to the near demise of two newspaper towns, as the weaker newspapers in most cities have folded. The primary source of newspaper income is 
advertising, in the form of classifieds or inserted advertising circulars, rather than circulation income. However, since the late 1990s, this revenue source has been directly challenged by web sites like eBay for sales of second-hand items, Monster.com jobs, and Craigslist everything. Additionally, as investigative journalism declined at major daily newspapers in the 2000s, many reporters formed their own non-profit investigative newsrooms. Examples include ProPublica on the national level, Texas Tribune at the state level and Voice of OC at the local level. The largest newspapers by circulation in the United States are USA Today, The Wall Street Journal, The New York Times and The Los Angeles Times. Topic magazines Thanks to the huge size of the English-speaking North American media market, the United States has a large magazine industry with hundreds of magazines serving almost every interest, as can be determined by glancing at any newsstand in any large American city. Most magazines are owned by one of the large media conglomerates or by one of their smaller regional brethren. The American Society of Magazine Editors sponsors the annual National Magazine Awards recognizing excellence. The U.S. has three leading weekly news magazines, Time, Newsweek and U.S. News and World Report. Time and Newsweek are center-left while U.S. News and World Report tends to be center-right. Time is well known for naming a person of the year each year, while U.S. News publishes annual ratings of American colleges and universities. The U.S. also has over a dozen major political magazines, including The Atlantic and The New Yorker among others. Finally, besides the hundreds of specialized magazines that serve the diverse interests and hobbies of the American people, there are also dozens of magazines published by professional organizations for their members, such as Communications of the ACM for computer science specialists and the ABBA Journal for lawyers. Topic books Topic Radio American radio broadcasts in two bands, FM and AM. Some stations are only talk radio, featuring interviews and discussions, while music radio stations broadcast one particular type of music, top 40, hip-hop, country, etc. Radio broadcast companies have become increasingly consolidated in recent years. National Public Radio is the nation's primary public radio network, but most radio stations are commercial and profit-oriented. Talk radio as a political medium has also exploded in popularity during the 1990s, due to the 1987 repeal of the Fairness Doctrine, which meant that stations no longer had to balance their day by programming alternative points of view. The Federal Communications Commission in 1970 had limited the number of radio station one person or company could own to 1 a.m. and 1 f.m. locally, and 7 a.m. and 7 f.m. stations nationally. But due to extensive concentration of media ownership stemming from the Telecommunications Act of 1996, radio companies could own not more than eight local stations per area market. Most stations are now owned by major radio companies such as iHeartMedia formerly Clear Channel Communications, Cumulus Media, Townscare Media, and CBS Radio. CIBOC and HD Radio. A new form of radio that is gaining popularity is satellite radio. The two biggest subscriptions-based radio services are Sirius Satellite Radio and XM Satellite Radio, which have recently merged to form Sirius XM Radio. Unlike terrestrial radio music channels are commercial-free and other channels feature minimal commercials. Satellite radio also is not regulated by the FCC. During the advent of the Internet in the 21st century, Internet radio and digital streaming services have been emerged. Among popular brands are Pandora and iHeartRadio. Although, the recording industry also sees Internet radio as a threat and has attempted to impose high royalty rates for the use of recorded music to discourage independent stations from playing popular songs. Arbitron, a consumer research company, provides ratings similar to the Nielsen ratings for national and local radio stations in the United States. Topic television 99% of American households have at least one television and the majority of households have more than one. The four major broadcasters in the U.S. are the National Broadcasting Company NBC, CBS formerly the Columbia Broadcasting System, the American Broadcasting Company ABC, and the Fox Broadcasting Company Fox. Several Spanish-language broadcast as well as cable networks exist, which are the most common form of non-English television broadcasts. 
These networks are not as widely distributed over the air as their English counterparts, available mostly in markets with sizable Latino and Hispanic populations. Several of these over the air networks are alternatively fed directly to cable, satellite, and IPTV providers in markets without either the availability or the demand for a locally based owned and operated or affiliate station. The largest of these networks, Univision, launched in 1986 as a successor to the Spanish International Network. Its major competition is Telemundo Est, a sister network of NBC which acquired Telemundo in 2001. Public television has a far smaller role than in most other countries. However, a number of states, including West Virginia, Maryland, Kentucky, and South Carolina, among others, do have state-owned public broadcasting authorities which operate and fund all public television stations in their respective states. The income received from the government is insufficient to cover expenses and stations also rely on corporate sponsorships and viewer contributions. DirecTV and Dish Network are the major satellite television providers, with 20 and 14 million customers respectively as of February 2014. Meanwhile, the major cable television providers are Comcast with 22 million customers, Time Warner Cable with 11 million, and Cox Communications, Charter Communications, AT&T U-Verse and Verizon Fios with 5 to 6 million each. Topic: <laughs> Motion Pictures. In the 20th century, the motion picture industry rose to become one of the most successful and powerful industries in the U.S. along with other intellectual property industries. Its relative importance to the American economy has strengthened as the importance of manufacturing and agriculture have decreased due to globalization. Topic: <laughs> Rise of the home video market, 1980s to 1990s. The 1980s and 1990s saw another significant development. The full acceptance of home video by studios opened a vast new business to exploit. Films such as Showgirls, The Secret of NIMH, and The Shawshank Redemption, which may have performed poorly in their theatrical run, were now able to find success in the video market. It also saw the first generation of filmmakers with access to videotapes emerge. Directors such as Quentin Tarantino and Paul Thomas Anderson had been able to view thousands of films and produced films with vast numbers of references and connections to previous works. Tarantino has had a number of collaborations with director Robert Rodriguez. Rodriguez directed the 1992 action film El Mariachi, which was a commercial success after grossing $2 million against a budget of $7,000. In 2011, El Mariachi was inducted into the Library of Congress to be preserved as part of its National Film Registry for being "...culturally, historically, or aesthetically significant." The film is further immortalized by Guinness World Records as the lowest budgeted film ever to gross $1 million at the box office. This, along with the explosion of independent film and ever decreasing costs for filmmaking, changed the landscape of American movie making once again and led a renaissance of filmmaking among Hollywood's lower and middle classes those without access to studio financial resources. With the rise of the DVD in the 21st century, DVDs have quickly become even more profitable to studios and have led to an explosion of packaging extra scenes, extended versions, and commentary tracks with the films. Topic. Internet The Internet has provided a means for newspapers and other media organizations to deliver news and keep archives public. Revenue is generated through advertising or subscription payments. Topic. Online streaming The days of having to tune in live or buy expensive discs in order to watch your favorite shows and movies are gone. Online streaming makes it possible to watch everything from live news and sports to classic movies to modern TV favorites on their own time, and on any device they choose. Some of online streaming service providers are Netflix, Hulu Plus, Amazon Video and YouTube. Over-the-top subscription services that mirrored cable and TV everywhere services began emerging in the mid-2010s. In 2015, Dish Network and Sony respectively launched Sling TV and PlayStation View, cable-style online and mobile streaming services priced at lower monthly rates than packages offered by traditional pay television system operators. Topic. 
References Topic See also Communications in the United States Telecommunications policy of the United States National Telecommunications and Information Administration Federal Communications Commission Pulitzer Prize Topic. Bibliography Margaret A. Blanchard, ed. 2013 1998. History of the Mass Media in the United States, an Encyclopedia. Routledge. ISBN 978-1-135-91749-4. Cynthia L. Clark, ed. 2011. Media. The American Economy, a Historical Encyclopedia. ABC Clio. pp. 282+. ISBN 978-1-59884-461-0. Anthony Fellow 2011. American Media History 3rd ed. Cengage Learning, Inc. ISBN 1-111-34812-X. Lisa Nakamura 2014. Media. In Bruce Burgett and Glenn Hendler. Keywords for American Cultural Studies, Second Ed. New York University Press. pp. 165 plus. Topic. External links. United States Newspapers and Media List. Media. All Media Link of United States, USA. United States Profile. Media. BBC News. Media History Digital Library. David Pierce and Eric Hoyt, Directors. USA. Nonprofit Dedicated to digitizing historic books and magazines about film, broadcasting, and recorded sound Barry Brummett, Simon J. Bronner, ed. Media, an Overview. Encyclopedia of American Studies, Johns Hopkins University Press.